Hi there, it's DriveWide DIY. Just thought I'd do a quick video on this uh, display unit. Uh, it's frozen up, nothing's working. Uh, just it went on to the reversed camera as well and wouldn't come off and then it ended up going on like this. So uh, just for a, a quick video, uh, just thought this might help you as well if you've got this problem rather than having to take out and everything. What I'm gonna do is turn the car off uh, and I'm going to leave it for say 15 minutes or so and then I'm going to come back and see if it's back on uh, and if that's if that's the case it's a quick fix fix if it doesn't come back on then there's a state there's a, a, a chance that you're going to have to take it out and uh, look at the back of it it's probably a con connector's gone loose or something like that which is quite common on a lot of different models so uh, we'll just see how it goes turn the engine off and then uh, I'll come back and see if it's working again so now uh, now it's all locked it locked up so basically just switch the engine off uh, and let it turn off on its own once it turns off on its own it should uh, switch the engine back on or switch the car back on it should come back into into uh, back to back to life so hopefully that's what will happen right it's been over 15 minutes now so uh, let's have a look at it and see uh, see if it's any good. There we go, we're back on now. We're back on now, so uh, everything's working again. This can happen every now and then. Uh, don't think it's, I, I don't think it just glitches out, you know, I don't know, it's like any computer, sometimes it freeze, buffer, do whatever. Uh, but I do find if, if it freezes on you when, you, when you've turned it off, gone away and come back, and then it starts back up again. Uh, if it's not working after that, then you obviously have to take it in or take it out and check the controls. Could be something wrong with that. But this car's only a couple of years old, so uh, I wouldn't expect anything other than either a warranty job or uh, to replace it or doing doing that. So it's about 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, enough for the uh, onboard computer to go to sleep uh, and the battery and everything else to go to sleep. So and then back on it reboots and it off it, it comes up. So uh, yeah, that's it. That's how to uh, get that back working. Uh, easy fix. Didn't cost me anything. Just a bit of uh, bit of knowledge and know-how. Uh, I'm leaving it alone. So uh, thanks for watching.